Hi, I'm Brandy. This is Hound Dog Hollow, and today we're going to be unboxing my March 2020 Witches Moon box. I'm very excited. This is my, I think, 24th Witches Moon box. <laughs> so super cool. Got a back of the Oracle card. Ooh, Horus. Cosmic Gateway. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. Cute. Ascended Guides. Very cool. Mm. Ascended Guides. And then it's got like, oh, here's Buddha. And then... We have all these Mother Mary. Hmm. Very cool. I like that. So I'll give you a look. So we're doing this. I'm gonna move it back a little so I can put all the stuff up here. Ooh, what do we got? Dandelion leaf. Which I'm pretty sure I have. No wine and bubble. Is it a purple candle here? Or maybe blue. I don't know. I hate to cut these open. I don't usually cut the little ones open. There you go. It's purple. And it smells... Like heavenly beeswax. Well, that's always really pleasant. We got a tea bag, muslin tea bag. We got a peppermint leaf. We got herbal tea, which is Jupiter. Looks really pretty. It's got some. It's very colorful, very lovely. Okay. Oh, I love some of this. Oops. So this is the candle spell, token of wisdom. It's very, very beautiful. Book of shadows. I love that. Okay. Dedication for your book of shadows. Very cool. Ooh, I love rope intense. I love. Lady of the Lake. Oh, very cool. I love that. Mmm. Really. Yummy smell. Hush puppy. Um. We also have ascended Masters Magical Anointing Oil. I smell it. Ooh, I like it. It's very citrusy. We got a, like a candle holder, I think. By golly, we don't got any in. Oh, we do. We have we don't have any stick incense. We have rope incense. Beautiful book. Oh, it's got a little thing here. Oh, beautiful. How many pages it looks like? Beautiful. Feels very nice. Nice and thick. The back cover. Side. Very nice. Hush bubble. Oops, it definitely doesn't go. It goes vertically. It doesn't go sideways. So let's read this. Throughout our journey, we work to pull inspiration and knowledge from our own experiences as well as from those that resonate with 
us from previous times. It is a very vital practice for us to rely on the energies and wisdom of the great guys that harness and manipulate energy in beautiful and powerful ways. As we each work through our own personal challenges and triumphs, we call upon ascended guides to provide signs, symbols, and wisdom along the way. In this very special Ascended Guides Book of Shadow collection, we provide one-of-a-kind tools that have been specifically created to assist you in connecting with these energies and working mm -hmm. with the information and knowledge that is provided. So, Handmade Book of Shadows with Flower uh, Press Paper. This beautiful book of shadows uh, slash spirit journal was handmade for this very collection exclusively for the subscribers of The Witch's Moon. Each page of hand paid, each page of handmade paper has been pressed with flower petals, flower petals to exude our connection with nature. We have placed this book of shadows within this collection to provide you with a platform to document and communicate your experiences with your guides, ancestors, or any ascended guides that you may be inspired by. This can include writing down inspirations and energies that you experience while working with this guide or simply logging messages that you may receive. I mean, there's, there's a lot more about Book of Shadows, but... Dedication of the Book of Shadows artwork, um, which is very lovely. And then we have the Book of Shadows inside cover art, which is very lovely. Um, Ascended Guides Book of Shadows artwork. To assist or inspire you, we have placed an Ascended Guides reference artwork, which is this beauty here. Okay, um, brass spiked candle holder, love it, it's good for a wide variety of sized candles. Um, hand rolled and anointed token of wisdom spell candle and artwork. Okay. We have hand-rolled and anointed this candle with the intention of enhancing your ability to receive messages from guides. The incantation that accompanies the spell candle has been created as a piece of artwork that can be placed within your Book of Shadows. Very beautiful. Ooh. Ascended Master's Magical Anointing Oil. It's the intention of attracting ancient knowledge and wisdom into your workings. As you anoint your magical tools or skin, visualize your auric field opening to a state of ease and understanding. Um, let's see. It has frankincense, rosemary, lemongrass, chamomile, and blue corn, cornflower, mugwort, and lemongrass herbs, as well as the Lumarian quartz, and a little bit of Wise Council magical oil from their personal cabinet. Lady of the Lake Sacred Salt. Um, so... We've created this Lady of the Lake Sacred Salt with the intention of providing you further access to spiritual knowledge and insight. The Lady of the Lake is often referred to as a resemblance of Sarudin, Sarudwin, or the Keeper of the Cauldron, also reflected as the Crone, or the darker aspect of the Triple Goddess. Sarudin is the holder of esoteric knowledge. Relax and let go of preconceived thoughts and expectations. Allow your inner chatter to slowly stop cluttering your emotions. As you resonate with the earthly ingredients, of this sacred salt, take the time to ponder and connect with the energies of your ancestors and guides. Um, avocado, rosemary, eucalyptus, spearmint, and basil, as well as as well as spearmint, rosemary, lemon balm, linden, eucalyptus, wood betony, blackberry leaf, and elothero root herbs, and a little bit of cerudin magical oil from our personal cabinet. Nagchampa rope incense, very cool. Um, very cool. Jupiter tea with Muslim bag. So the Jupiter tea it will assist you in your journey towards enlightenment. So it has green tea, rosemary, sage, safflowers, and rose petals. Brandy mint or peppermint leaf. Um, wild endive or dandelion leaf. Uh, personalized oracle reading from the Keepers of the Light oracle and parchment paper beautiful very cool I love um, love the witch's moon I love the items everything's really useful 
I've I like the um, spiked candle holder a lot because I have a ton of these candles. What I usually do is burn it a little bit and then use the wax to set it upright in a cauldron. But it's going to be nice to have um, something set. I really like this um, book. It's very nice, very um, nice thick pages for art and such. So I'm really digging it and I have been, I like this size, I've been thinking of a way to bind them so this kind of is really nice inspiration to me. So this has been March 2020's Witch's Moon Box. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we have, a <laughs> I finally finished my midterms. So I will be getting packages out to you if I owe you them. So please be patient with me. And I hope to um, continue my astrology series. And of course, as boxes come in, I'll keep um, posting that there. So thank you guys. I love you. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.